The warranty for Atmos boilers installed with a thermoregulating valve or ladder mat 21 with accumulation tanks, and when all the requirements stated in the user and maintenance manual are observed, is 3 years for the boiler unit and 2 years for the other components. Atmos boilers are manufactured with the utmost care. Long-term operation can generate the need for adjustment and replacement of some stressed components. Therefore, in the following part of our film, we will focus on demonstrating the correct procedure in their adjustment and replacement. We will start with the replacement of the heat-resistant shaped piece. After we remove or break the old shaped piece, Further referred to as a nozzle, we thoroughly clean its holder from tar and the old sealant. Roll thin strands from the boiler sealant and place them evenly around the perimeter of the opening. Insert the new nozzle with recess for the entry of secondary air positioned away from you and so that the mark on the nozzle is facing towards the boiler. Push it all the way against the rear wall. The replacement of the heat-resistant shaped piece is finished by installing the sealing cords on both sides and on the front end. It is very important that the sealing cords join each other and they must fit well in the gaps around the perimeter of the nozzle. The thorough sealing of the nozzle with sealant and sealing cords will prevent unwanted escape of secondary air. When replacing the nozzle on boilers with higher power output, for example on the DC50SE, DC75SE or DC100 wood boilers, where the nozzle is a two-piece design, proceed in a similar way. The only difference is that you have to seal the joint between the parts of the nozzle with boiler sealant or sealing cord. On the Atmos Generator gasification boilers, the filling area has a ceramic insert with openings for the supply of primary air. During its replacement, we first align the nozzle and then we insert one side that is comprised by two parts. Install the sealing cord. Insert the second side ceramic block the same way as the first one. Apply boiler sealant to the sealing cord groove in the top part of the boiler and tap the cord into the groove. When replacing fire grate mechanism components on the Atmos Combe gasification boilers, it is necessary to remove some parts of the boiler casing. To remove them, proceed as follows. Disconnect the ignition valve rod. Pull out the control panel and lift it to side. Remove one of the side panels. In the last step, remove the front panel of the control panel near the fire grate lever. Remove the actual grate mechanism by loosening the safety bolt and backstop near the grate lever. After the safety bolt is loosened, we can pull out the gate tube. During the tube removal, the individual grate parts begin to fall out. After the complete removal of the tube, we can remove the ceramic blocks. During assembly, make sure that the fire chamber is clean, cleared from ash, tar and so on. In the first step, insert the ceramic blocks into the boiler. Push in the great tube and gradually attach all the individual segments. 
It is important to know that the first and last segment that contacts the ceramic blocks are different from the other segments. After installing the last segment and attaching the tube to the rear part of the boiler, we verify that the grate has a 6 to 8 mm clearance. Seal the grate tube with two cords and secure with the safety bolt. Cork the ceramic blocks with boiler sealant with what we call red putty around the whole perimeter and at the ends. The assembly is finished by reinstalling the panels. Replacement of ceramic shaped pieces of the bottom fire chamber is very simple. Before installing new shaped pieces, thoroughly clean the complete fire chamber so that the shaped pieces fit correctly. First install the rear face of the spherical area. Take care for correct orientation. Now install the left and right side and make sure that both shaped pieces are installed evenly and that they have good contact with the boiler body. In addition, on wood gasification boilers we have to install Sibral sealing strips between the bottom spherical area and the nozzle bracket to both sides. Replacement of the door insulating inserts is also quite simple. Apply the new insert and from the outer side drill the required holes. Attach the insert with bolts and washers. The insert has to be tightened sufficiently so that it will not fall out when the door is operated. When replacing the half moon shaped insulation, insert of the bottom door proceed the same way as for the top door. However, for attaching the insert, use longer bolts. If we require to replace the doors or to adjust the position of the hinges, we have to remove them. For this, it is necessary to remove or at least to lift the control panel. After releasing the panel, we knock out the hinge pins and remove the door. By moving the hinges to the left or right, we adjust them to the required position. If the hinges are set correctly, we install and secure the door with the pins. In the same way, we can change the door opening from right to left. We do this by moving the top door to the bottom position and the bottom door to the top. This interchange is possible because of welded hinge nuts on both sides of the frame. Replacement of the ceiling cord of the top and bottom door is simple. Tap the cord lightly into the clean groove so that it fits correctly and the ends join each other. Slam close the door several times. This will seat the cord in an ideal position. If necessary, we can also adjust the position of the door lock. The draft ventilator is attached to the waste gas pipe with four wing nuts. The electrical connection of the ventilator to the boiler is with a push-on connector. Depending on the boiler type, the ventilator is equipped with a rotor with a diameter of either 150, 175 or 200 millimeters. If we need to replace the rotor, we loosen and remove the nut with the left-handed thread. When replacing or repairing any electrical component, it is necessary to remove the control panel on the boiler. Replacement of the draft ventilator capacitor is quite simple. 
It is attached with a nut to the connector and the wires are push-on connectors. Also, replacement of the switch is not complicated. Remove the connectors and push the switch out of the slot. Equally simple is the removal and reinstallation of the thermometer. Here we have to be careful when removing and inserting the capillary into the respective receiver. When replacing the regulating thermostat, we need to pull off the control wheel on the control panel and loosen the screws. Push the thermostat out from the hole, but before that, carefully remove the thermostat capillary out of the receiver. In reverse sequence, reinstall everything back as it was. If we are replacing the pump safety thermostat or the built-in thermostat, all that is required is to remove the connectors, unscrew it out of the base and install a new one. If replacing a safety thermostat located on the boiler's control panel, we proceed in a similar way like with the regulating thermostat. The flue gas thermostat that shuts down the ventilator after all the fuel is burned is removed as follows. Remove the side insulation of the flue gas pipe. Remove the thermostat capillary from the rear pipe. Remove the thermostat and install a new one. The power output regulation is very important for the boiler operation. The FR124 regulator is located on the boiler water outlet. It controls the amount of air entering the boiler based on the water temperature exiting the boiler. If the boiler overheats, the regulator insert can be damaged. The insert can be replaced by loosening the securing bolt and removing the plastic part. Now we can remove and replace the insert.